Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to remove Personal Shield Pro from your computer. Now, as you may have guessed, Personal Shield Pro is a fake security client. These type of clients is known as malware, and the purpose of them is to basically con and uh, trick you into making a purchase of the antivirus client because it does look fairly legitimate. It's an exact clone of a few others that have been out there, security tool, MS removal tool, and uh, several others. And basically what the, this program is going to do is it's going to make it so you cannot open up most programs out there so you won't be able to install antivirus client softwares, you won't be able to do a lot of items out there because this program is just going to block everything. And if we actually look and try to bring up the task manager, you might be able to see it popping up there a little bit. It's because the task manager isn't disabled, it's simply this program shutting it down. So what that means is if you reboot your computer, the second you log in, you should be able to hold down control, shift, escape, and actually bring up the task manager. And if you're able to bring up the task manager, you will be able to actually stop this program from running uh, just ending by ending the process. The problem is, is this program goes by many different names. So every individual who's infected with it will have a, a few different names to go by. And let me go ahead and open up my cheat sheet. Oh, I can't even open up that. That's all right. I know the location of this threat. And basically, I'm going to uh, show you guys the location of it. If you have any questions, feel free and go to the removevirus.org website. There we have the manual guide as well as a lot of how-to guides, so how to boot into safe mode. Uh, that's a great way to help remove this, uh, to just simply go into safe mode and delete the file that way. Otherwise, we'll go over a few other ones. But removevirus.org is also going to have the updated file paths because this file paths will change over time. So, so if you have questions, head over to the removevirus.org. We do not answer questions on YouTube just because chances are that question's already been answered on removevirus.org. We do not monitor the channel, so don't even bother asking for help. Unfortunately, not on YouTube, but head on over to removevirus.org. I'm over there as well as uh, several other individuals who can help you out. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and go into computer, and let's go ahead and minimize this. We're going to go under the C drive. Under the C drive, we're going to go to Program Data. Now, Program Data is not a hidden folder. You should be able to find it just fine. However, this client will most likely change over time, and chances are it'll go under Users, Your Username, App Data, and then Local. And that's where it's been going in the past. This time, they made it a little bit different. So, not, not trying to confuse you. But uh, go ahead and head under Program Data. And under Program Data, the good thing here is y what you're looking for is a really, really, really weirdly named file name. And that's it right there. I can tell it right off the bat. It's going to be about anywhere from 5 to 13 characters long right around there. And it's just a bunch of gibberish. It won't make sense. Another great way you can sort out what the file name is is to sort by date modified. So if you sorted it by date modified, and we'll put the ones closer to the date up on top, we're going to see right here 713. And today is actually 713. I just installed this virus on my computer. So that's a great way of knowing. So if you were infected within the next last few days, you'll be able to see, well, these are the only files I have that uh, follow that date. Now, to get to get to this view, you may have to change a few things. You can go over here and just hit the down button and go ahead and select details. And uh, for all you XP users, we will have this. Uh, I'm doing this on Windows 7 computer. It's going to work the exact same on Windows Vista. XP users, read the manual guide. We have it listed over there. And we may even put a video up for you there, too, as well. Just go under Details. And under Details, you're actually going to be able to see all this uh, view. So is what we can do is go into this folder. And it may just change and not be in the folder anymore. It may just be the file name on the root under Program Data. All this, all this changes. So right here, we, now you'll notice if we try to delete the file, it's not going to be able to delete. Yes, I want to delete it. It can't because it's currently in use. So if you were to boot into safe mode, or safe mode with networking, uh, the purpose of booting into safe mode with networking is so you can download an antivirus client because you'll have wireless capabilities. However, if you just go into safe mode, you should be able to browse to this file and just delete it. Otherwise, what we can do is simply rename the file to whatever you want. I'm just going to rename this top one to whatever that is. And next time we go and reboot the computer, reboot means turn it off, turn it back on. Uh, once we're back up, will be able to delete this file because it will no longer be running. At that point in time, you need to run a full virus scan because chances are you're not just infected with this. You probably have several other viruses on your computer too as well. You just don't know. And the two clients, the, the main clients I recommend is going to be Spire Doctor with Antivirus and then Stopzilla. And run a scan with those two. Another client we really, really like is Malwarebytes too as well. That one kicks ass. So as stated, now go ahead and reboot your computer, and you'll be able to remove these two from here, and then run your full virus scan. 
Another clear dead giveaway of this particular thread is I have been noticing in the last couple times in different variants that we've installed this, we've had this little shield right here, and that shield's a dead giveaway that, hey, that's the file name. Now, over on the RemoveVirus.org website, we have the How-To Guide section, which is fantastic. It has a lot of how-to guides as well as videos listed under there to really help you out. And, you know, how to edit the Windows registry, how to boot into safe mode, show hidden files and folders, a ton, a ton of good stuff. So definitely go over and check that out. And also on the RemoveVirus.org website, we'll have direct links to Stopzilla, as well as SpyroDoc with Antivirus and Malwarebytes. If you were to download from us and make a purchase, we don't sell it, but, but we are affiliated with them. So, which means if you were to download it from our website and end up making a purchase because you liked it, we actually get a commission check for that. We get a couple bucks for every sale that's made, and that's really cool because it helps us create these videos, helps keep the website going, and the like. So, uh, please, if you end up making a purchase, go to our website and download it there. We also highly recommend online computerrepair.org. Onlinecomputerrepair.org is a small computer repair company. They're based in California. Uh, they're able to repair your computer right now. They're charging uh, $89.99. I know it's going to be moved up to $99.99 real soon just because uh, viruses are getting harder and harder to remove. But uh, this looks fairly easy and these guys can go in there and remove all viruses and spiral from your computer. So if you just want an expert to do it, head on over there. They'll be able to get you taken care of right away. And uh, um, yeah, they can just remote in and boom, they, they resolve all your issues. And the actual URL to the RemoveVirus.org video is going to be RemoveVirus.org uh, forward slash personal dash shield dash pro. That's to the personal shield pro removal guide. And the purpose of this one, uh, like I said, we're going to list all the, the uh, what it is, a little bit more about the client, as well as we'll keep it updated. So whenever new threats come out, whenever, whenever the file pass change, we'll be able to list the file pass for you. And already... You can see that the XP traces is right here. Instead of the app program data, it's going to be all users' application data. And then I personally do answer a lot of the questions here on uh, it. Just right down below, you can just go ahead and ask your questions right down here. And you, you'll see that hey, th this just proves that the video that uh, the guide works. We've already had a lot of comments, 15 comments here. A lot of them thanking us for the guide because it works. It's just that simple. Now, once you're over here, I would ask that you do please go ahead and hit the uh, Windows uh, either the like button, the Facebook like button, the dig button, the tweet button. I'm not seeing the Google Plus button, but it's over here. It's supposed to be right here. Uh, go ahead and hit a couple of those buttons, and it helps build social proof. Just uh, knowing that hey, uh, the guide's working for other people, and it gives others that warm fuzzy feeling. So they know, oh, if they can do it, I can do it too. That's all we have. I thank you for watching and hope this helped remove Personal Shield Pro.